everybody, this is Felicia from Sethly.com. Today we are here at Geelang Baru and we are going to check out a Korean eatery run by ex media corp artist Cassandra C. So it's in this coffee shop and let's check it out. So if you come here, you can go towards the site and you will see this pink signboard. And this is where we are going to pick out today. Let's go! Alright guys, so before this ramen gets soggy, let's dig into this ramen. So this is the Volcano Carbonara. As you can see, the ramen itself, it's still very springy and al dente. Mm. Mm. Alright, so you know those um, Xing ramen that we usually eat when we are like hungry at night? It tastes like Xing ramen. It, the soup and the broth is even more rich because of the use of milk and the cheese as well. So the kick from the spice is still there and it's very strong. So if you cannot really take your spice, be careful on this one. Alright, so here we have the rice bowl. Um, this rice bowl is the bulgogi rice bowl. So like what Cassandra said just now, you can also change the other proteins like they have chicken and they have pork as well. So like what you all know, bulgogi is a bit sweet and savoury and this is exactly what the typical bulgogi that we know. Sweet, savoury, very fragrant. And when you eat it together with the kimchi, that's the crunch from the cabbage, which I really like. I enjoy the texture in this um, rice bowl itself. So let's move on to the next dish. Okay, now it's the bibimbap. That's what I like about bibimbap. You can like bend your frustration in the bowl. Ugh. There is really a lot of vegetables. Okay, so let's dig in. The thing I like about this bibimbap is a bit, it's a bit wet. I like it like a bit wet. <laughs> and I think it's because they use the molten egg. So the yolk is a more runny yolk. And you can see that the egg yolk runs throughout the whole bibimbap itself. Mm. Unlike the other rice bowl, this has a very strong gochujang taste which I really love. I love gochujang. And the thing is it's not too spicy. So even if you can't take your spice, you can also enjoy this bowl of bibimbap. It has that very strong sesame smell from the sesame oil. So it has this nuttiness that I really like as well. Alright, now on to this humongous bowl of baby bag ribs stew, I would say. Alright, so unlike other you know, rice bowls, here they are stewed, it comes with baguette. So this is like a garlic bread. So let's try this. Mm. If you like those western style stew, I think you'll like this. So this has a little bit of a ketchup, ketchup-y, tomato-based taste. And it also has a little bit of a spice to it. And when eaten together with the baguette, it gets, the sauce gets soaked up into the bread itself. So it gets really soft and tender. It isn't as crispy as it's supposed to be. But let's bite into the raw baguette and see whether it, like we can do an ASMR or not, okay? Yes, MR feel. <laughs> but the garlic taste is very strong. It's like those morning when you eat garlic bread. It's that taste and it's really nice. Okay, so let's try the baby back ribs. Wow, they're super generous with the baby back ribs. It's like how many big pieces of them? Oh my god, look. The daikon soak up all the essence of the, the stew. And it's super soft, so let me try breaking it with my chopsticks. Like, you see? It just like breaks easily like that. Let's try the daikon. Taste of daikon. <laughs> very sweet, very fragrant. Um, it's not really very fragrant, it's very sweet, very clean, very nice. So I have a big rip here. And I'm gonna bite in. Let's bite in. Mmm! Very tender. My god. It's really super tender. Oh, sorry. Super duper tender. No other words to express. It has a mixture of lean meat as well as fat. So, it has this very oily coating, which is very nice. And the flavour gets soaked in very well. Alright, so the last dish is the burger. This is the fried chicken burger. And I really love the look of this burger. Look at how thick. So there's a fried egg, then the chi battered chicken, and I think like that's onion, tomatoes and lettuce also. 
So it's a very hearty burger by itself. And isn't the intersection very nice? The colour. And look at the outside. So it's really fried and battered and it's very thick. So let's bite in. You can still taste the crunch of the onions and the vegetables. And the chicken is still crunchy also. And it's, I think it's marinated with a bit of a spicy um, marinade. So it's a bit spicy. Very juicy. It's like the juice will burst and fill your mouth. So this one, you can never look glam eating this burger. Don't come here with a loved one if, it's, if you're on a first date. Because you look super unglam, like how I look now. But it's very nice, so who cares? done eating at Hungry Korean, belly's filled and we even got stuff to go. So what I feel about this place is if you're looking for cheap, affordable Korean food, Hungry Korean is a place that you want, will want to consider also. And the location is quite easy to find. It is around 3 to 5 minutes walk from Gelang Baru MRT station. So yeah, why not? Come and explore this place and then check out the um, eatery as well. Alright, we are done with eating out. Thank you for joining us in this episode and we'll see you next time. 